What's up, guys and girls? B2 talking about a little alliance work here and why they're important. I know I did a video earlier, uh, but I wanted to show you actually what goes on inside of an alliance. So um, we're going to hit the old login here and kind of get rolling. So uh, and the first thing you're going to look at as far as alliances go um, is really going to be what can an alliance provide for you. I know that sounds crazy. Let's go ahead and jet back to the home here and Belenos. Um, you'll look, I did actually finish off um, Cron Castle today. Uh, so finish that storyline. Pretty stoked about that. Um, you know, so so when I look at the Alliance or Guild, I should say, I always say, I always get them mixed up because every game is different. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is the bottom left, you're going to want to hit this check-in button down here, right? Every single day, it's going to give you um, a boost on there. It looks like we picked up a member somewhere too. Let's see who we got here. Who we got? Who we got? Um, we picked up somebody named Anubis21, a newer member, 600. So, uh, so that's good. So, um, what you'll do, and, and we started this guild a few days ago, so it's lower level, lower membership. Um, but I want to show you inside of what the guild can do for you. Um, so, so what happens is, is you end up with, um, on the member side, you can go into a rookie status, right? So if I wanted to manage rookies, um, I can go ahead and um, appoint a number person to a rookie, Anubis. Um, and then when Anubis is online, you can hit the support button and send them actual support, uh, which is really good. You can only have, I think, five or something like that, or I, I can't remember. It says two on here, zero two, but I think it was five earlier. Um, and then as far as guild members go, you'll be able to see what they're stats are their um their activity um all time and then i think it's for the week uh, or the month but um because it's, it says m so probably monthly activity so so what that means is is um on the guild funds, you'll see um, focus, and I just put balance, um, and then join request. I don't have it set. You can join right in to quid pro quo. Um, so when, every time you do a quest, right, you can do three of the four quests. One of them is participate in arena. The one is run the ruins and then clear the boss. Things that you're going to do every day anyway. It's going to give the guild XP, and it's going to give um, quest points. And you can see right there where it says in the very middle, guild quest point, as well as summoning stones and exchange so the guild can actually do a run on a summoning stone uh, which is pretty cool and then if you go to life skills um, you can even do three life skills versus um, doing the other daily quests on the combat side depending on what you're focused on some people love the life skills part and that's okay that's why the guild's balanced it's why that allows for that right um, the guild mileage is going to show um, things that you can actually purchase, and so I have 188 mileage right now on there, so I really can't buy anything, um, but the larger the guild is and you, the more you send social points, um, it kind of starts to snowball. And then, of course, guild skills, they cost money to raise, so we can actually in increase the life skill at $10 million. Uh, We're not going to do that. We're going to focus more towards, we're going to get away from the node and siege wars because those haven't been implemented yet, but we're going to move into the guild effect. So the more you check in, the more quests you do, um, the more you can get boosted through the uh, through the guild with the effects, whether it's AP, DP, or um, or hit points, right? So um, that's a, that goes towards your uh, combat points, which allows you to get into more levels. So the more you check in, the more quests you run, the guild's going to spin that back around and rewards to you um, and allow you to do things with it. So um, the other thing is that you, know, you end up having a, um, a guild channel where you can talk and correspond in Encourage each other, answer questions, talk about things that are happening in the game. Um, extremely, extremely, extremely important stuff. Uh, if you have an active guild, which we do, we always seem to have, even with the numbers that we have, uh, we always seem to have um, people online that can answer questions, especially on the weekends. Um, but, you know, most nights there's at least two people on. We're just that sort of a guild. Uh, and then, like, uh, Zyrian, that's not even his main. Um, he's doing a ranger. He has a Valkyrie main, and he's already got a ranger 31. One, um, to boost his family CP and to get more um, contribution points to put more people working on nodes and everything. So, um, so I just wanted to show you on the guild side how that works and and why they're important. Uh, I don't want to make a super long video. I just wanted to cover the absolute necessary parts of the topic and explain why those guild quests and building building into a guild uh, is worth your time. So hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, look forward to it. Uh, if you want to join, just search Quid Pro Quo and join. It's open right now. Uh, we'll probably close it off at about 25 members and then only take certain people in. So uh, get in quick. Have a great weekend. See you.